Hi, today I'm going to try painting on some sand dollars. So we got a huge different assortment of sizes. And on this big, really humongous one, I'm going to paint a rainbow ombre. So I'm only using six colors for this. And I have tried doing an ombre with only two or three colors, but on a medium sized one. So doing six colors on a humongous one is going to turn out pretty cool, I guess. So you can see all of my colors that I'm going to be using. And when I'm going to switch them out when I um, do different um, sand dollars because I am going to be painting a big variety of things. So try to guess by what you see on my on the color selection what I'm going to be painting on each sand dollar. So, so far our ombre is pretty good. We've done orange and red, and now let's do yellow. So the lighter colors seem to be much more transparent on these sand dollars than um, like the more deeper colors. So you might have to get like a couple coats. The red is really nice on the sand dollar. But yellow just is pretty transparent. Now let's do, oops, uh -oh, let's fix that. Now let's go to our green. So just spread everything out. Going from warm colors to cool colors is always the hardest part of the rainbow, but we get through it. So now let's do our blue. And then our purple. Right now it might look a little bit plain, but the next step of doing this rainbow is when we get, when it finally dries. So I'm going to be showing you after I finish all of these sand dollars. So just put that there. And now for the next one, can you guess what I'm gonna be doing with these three colors, gray, light blue, and dark blue? So <laughs> we'll just start with this blue and we're just going to color the whole background with it blue is pretty transparent so we'll see how many coats we need but right now this is our second coat kind of and then we're going to add some blue in the top and we're going to blend that into our, our lighter blue And we'll just kind of not take up more than half of the blue. We want to leave a lot of space on the bottom for our gray. And we'll just smooth in that out pretty much. And we're going to add our gray. I'm just gonna use that little thingamajig as a palette. And I don't know if you've guessed it, but we're doing mountains over a beach. So if you guessed it, comment below. But it, it was pretty hard. I was only giving you blue to work with. So now we're going to add some white. And this looks pretty cool, like foamy part of the ocean. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dark blue so we can get a little bit of variation, I guess. And then we'll move those sand dollars there now so you can see them. And then for this next one, let's go switch out the colors. We're leaving white there. We're going to be using like a maroon color, a pink, and a black. So. That color is a lot more maroonish than I thought it was, but I think that'll pretty much work out. So guess what this one's gonna be. This one is pretty hard. So we'll add a little bit of white in the middle. Kind of add like a circle. And then we're going to add some lines. 
Okay, we're doing cherry blossoms. So, we're doing cherry blossoms. That was pretty hard because all I gave you is moon in the beginning until I revealed it. Because I can't just say lines and then expect you to draw lines. Because that is pretty hard. We, you have to draw branches. But cherry blossoms, I really like this one. I think it's really pretty. Oh, and we have to add a little bit of magenta in the middle. So I didn't tell you that. Because <laughs> I, just, I just got that out of my selection of paint. But... We're just kind of playing around. You can play around with how you like it kind of to look. Like if you kind of blend it in more. Like it's totally up to you. I'm kind of leaving it like that. And I added blue, but that is way too light. So a mixture of blue and black. And this little white ball in the middle. That is the moon. So, yeah. This is super duper pretty. And we're just going to kind of fill the whole thing. I didn't really want to um, start a blue as a background color. Because our cherry blossoms might look really, really dark, kind of. Because when you... Um, pink is super transparent on another color. Because I have tried that, and it doesn't really look like the best. So I kind of didn't want... I wanted the pink to be, like, more, like, kind of like this, what it is now. Instead of looking faded, kind of, because of the background. And just some stars to add it. And then for the next one, take two colors of green and white. So... Let's see. I'm going to start with some green. And we're just going to go like that. Kind of stripes, kind of equal ish parts. That's kind of slanted, but we can fix it. And then we'll get like blendish kind of it's a watermelon but that doesn't really it looks different than what I was picturing maybe we'll, we'll just see how it looks after we add everything so let's add some white on the sides maybe it'll look better no <laughs> so I'm just going to maybe try fixing it up with a little bit more green. Mm, maybe pink. Pop of color. Okay, that's just bad. I'm just going to mix everything together. Now we have like a very nice tealish background. And I think I'm going to add like these pink stripes. Kind of at a curve so it looks very kind of round and it looks pretty trans the pink looks pretty transparent and i think just to like make it look good i'm just going to add that green sand dollar design i think that kind of saved it but it doesn't look like a watermelon anymore a beach ball so now it's a beach ball not a watermelon or like a type of medallion so yeah that one's actually pretty good now if you don't call it a watermelon so this next one um, let's see take those greens out and we're going to use three colors red orange and yellow so it's probably pretty obvious what we're doing try to guess if you don't know it yet a 
Okay, it's a sunset. And instead of doing the sun in the yellow as a regular sh like circle shape, I decided to do it as like a little sand dollar shape. It looks really, really cute when it's like that instead of a s round sun, boring kind of thing. I'm just gonna use this Faber-Castell artist pen in white because it can be pretty challenging when you're trying to paint a white or a uh, white or any color sand dollar design on a sand dollar, and this acts kind of as a primer, so you can actually see the alcohol marker. So this is super duper helpful. So I'll see you back when the sand dollars are done drying and I'll be back with the next part of the video. So we're back and these are all the sand dollars I painted over the last few days. Like there's a bunch of them and a lot of them are so nice and I love them so much. And now we're just going to, you just get to see them all. So those, um, I have this um, empty mason jar and I'm just kind of going to arrange these in like I have like a way of putting them in so it kind of it's almost like a pyramid shape and you kind of alternate between directions kind of if you can see and this kind of makes it so you can see most of the sand dollars well not really but it kind of helps it instead of just putting it all into a clutter and I kind of just like putting it in this way. So just put everything in. And, and I'm going to leave the rainbow one out because it doesn't fit in the jar. But I'm kind of also going to use it as a lid. So I have this one that I didn't paint because I thought it looks kind of nicer when it's like blank. And I'm just going to hot glue it onto our jar. And... Let's see. So we'll just put hot glue on the top and the bottom of the sand dollar because that's where the sand dollar and the jar mostly meet. And just make sure it's pretty firm. And then we'll just take our lid. That's our thing. 